Well, hello, welcome to the video. Uh, as you can tell, I am not in my theater again today. Uh, I am back in the other part of my basement, um, but this is with the other wall behind me so that you weren't staring at my uh, water heater and um, furnace and sub pump and all that sort of stuff. Um, but anyways, today I am in my other part of my basement uh, with this thing here sitting in front of me. Essentially, as a lot of people know, when you're into the hobby of home theater, home audio, home video stuff, you're always looking out for a good deal most of the time. Uh, you're always out trying to find different items, trying to upgrade things, trying to just find different stuff that piques your interest to try in your home theater or in your living room or bedroom or in a two channel setup or whatever you're doing. And so I, I always am uh, browsing the different websites because I buy everything secondhand. I don't buy anything new. Very, very, very rarely will I buy something brand new. So everything I buy is primarily used at secondhand. So I, I browse the websites periodically, the, you know, all the common culprits, the eBay, uh, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, and then two of my kind of hidden gem uh, sites, which I was going to maybe do a video on down the road, um, but Shop Goodwill and Goodwill Finds. Uh, and I'm always looking at different stuff, you know, uh, home theater equipment and different memorabilia stuff that I think would be fun to have in my home theater. And very rarely do I actually buy any of that stuff. I, I will from time to time, but it has to be a good deal. Um, and a good deal in terms of comparable to other spots that you can find in other like items in the same category, price range, quality range, whatever. Uh, so very rarely do I actually buy anything. I'll bid from time to time, but I usually have a threshold um, for things and then whatever happens if I win the item, I win it. If I don't, I don't, you know, whatever. And <laughs> today with that, I have this giant thing in front of me. So I found this on Shop Goodwill. This is an Infinity Center Channel. It's the Infinity Beta, uh, I, is it Beta 360C uh, Center Channel. And I found it for, again, I, I don't know off the top of my head because I ordered it a while ago and sometimes it takes a while for this stuff to ship. But it'll pop in here in a second, you know, up in this area somewhere. Uh, but I, I paid a pretty cheap price for this thing. And I'm gonna kind of like do an unboxing. I'm gonna open this here and I'll kind of talk about it as I go. Uh, and again, I'm using my shotgun mic down here. So hopefully the audio isn't too jumbled up as I'm cutting the plastic wrap here because it'll probably be kind of loud. But as I said, I, I, I'm always looking at stuff and I've made it a point, uh, and my, my wife kind of understands this too, even though I know it drives her crazy. I started selling stuff online during the pandemic. Uh, yeah, at the start of the pandemic, maybe just before the pandemic started. It's like a side hustle. And I'll sell secondhand used items. I don't use the name of my channel here. I have a different selling name, but I sell on Facebook Marketplace. I sell on eBay occasionally, but the big one I use is Mercari. And I kind of made it a point that when I sell my used stuff, whatever the item is, the money I generate from that is what I use to then buy stuff like this. So I don't buy things out of my normal funds from my normal job and everything. It's all basically from my online sales funds. And I get that from, like I said, selling stuff online. And I've also made it the point that when I buy something like this center speaker, because I've already got one in my home theater, after I test this out and kind of A, B it with the other one and decide which one I want to keep, I'm going to sell the other one. So I always try and sell the other thing I don't use. Um, and that goes for like receivers, Blu-ray players, speakers, you know, whatever. Uh, just so that, oh, ugh, it's kind of heavy. Uh, 
Ooh, right on my fingers. Um, yeah, you know, so I try and like use that money to sell everything. So I'm not digging into normal like funds and I'm basically reusing the same money and stuff that I purchased, you know, originally. And uh, like I said, I've been doing that for several years now and it isn't anything that I'm gonna, you know, make like a living at, you know. I'm not gonna be quitting my normal job or anything anytime soon with it. But it does provide me, you know, to do a little bit of stuff like this, even though I like that my wife, I know doesn't really understand it, you know, the need to like buy different things. I'm sure there's other people out there that can relate of, well, you've already got this, so why are you gonna find something different? You know, and uh, I get that, you know, a little bit, but it's always fun to me to just like try different stuff out and just see what I like. All right. Try not to smash my fingers again. All right, there we go. So here it is. And I'll probably take some B-roll footage of this here in a minute. Uh, but yeah, so this is the Infinity Beta C360 uh, center channel. And this thing is, uh, it's bigger than the other center channel I have right now, my VR10 from Boston Acoustics. Um, this one, let me actually stand up here, pop this open. I noticed there is a slight bit of damage on the bottom half of the speaker here, which uh, happens. That's kind of the risk you take when you're buying secondhand stuff. There we go. Yeah, right here. But I'll kind of, hopefully you can see it here. This one is uh, slightly bigger than my VR10. My VR10 has I think they're five or five and a half inch woofers. It's also a, a three-way speaker. So it has uh, like five, five and a half um, woofers on there. It has maybe a half inch or three quarter inch mid-range and then like a one inch or a half inch um, like a tweeter or whatever driver on it. Uh, where this one has, these are six uh, inch woofer, woofers on here, if I could talk, six inch <laughs> woofers, um, a one inch or one and a quarter inch, something like that, mid-range, and then a one inch tweeter on here. And this thing is, uh, I mean, it, it's solid. Uh, this thing probably weighs 20 or 30 pounds. This thing's pretty pretty heavy um but yeah so i bought this on shop goodwill like i said the picture will be up there i may flash it up here again um for a pretty cheap price uh i was i think only bidding against one other person and i only bid like once or twice on it and ended up buying it and so i'm extremely interested in uh putting this in the home theater and giving it a go testing it out kind of just seeing uh, you know, what the sound is like, and then deciding between this and my Boston Acoustic uh, Center channel, seeing which one I want to keep, and then uh, going from there. So be on the lookout, uh, because after I get this in and I do kind of my A-B comparison, you know, on my own when I have time, I will definitely put out an update video to talk about uh, which one I chose and kind of talk about, you know, the center channel or the other one, which one I liked and didn't like in there. So um, hopefully you enjoyed it. This is something a little bit different, like an unboxing uh, video. I don't know if I'm gonna do any more of these in the future. We'll kind of see, I'm experimenting with different videos on the channel and just see what generates content. So uh, again, like I always say, I appreciate uh, everything, you know, from whoever's out there watching these videos and the people liking, subscribing, leaving comments, I really do appreciate it. So uh, hopefully this was fun and, and interesting, just a short little video about this and uh, look forward to some more 
content coming out soon and I appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.